What's up, guys? How are you doing? Uh, not too bad. Good weather. Good yeah. weather. That's what we like. Okay. Have you ever asked yourself how to take the windows off a Renault Twizy? I doubt it, but we're going to show you. Whack you on my head as we're getting used to. Okay. Renault Twizy. Take off here. Boom. One. Okay. One, two, three. Here we go again. One, two, three. You can't get in the car. It's starting to feel like summer. And we have, look, a sunroof, which did you know is an option in the Renault Twizy, as well as the doors, which will open as you're going. <laughs> look at that. And so is the Bluetooth, which is controlled by this thing. It's called Parrot for no apparent reason. And it's controlled through this little screen here. Did you know all of that? Nope. Well, now you do. You're perfectly welcome. Amazing. Oi, oi. What's up, guys? There's so much wind. Hello, Lucas. Hello. I don't know if you'll hear me. There's a Mustang here, but this is what we're filming with today. 512TR. I have no idea if you can hear me. Cedric's going to come and walk us around the car. You guys know Cedric. That's exactly what I was about to say. <laughs> What's up? Oh, no, we've already done the intro. Why am I doing another intro? We did the intro over there with you. Yeah. Oh. Hello, Cedric. Hello there, Seb. How are you? Very well, and you? Let me put this back on. Go for oh. it. Can you see yourself? Yes. Yes? Oh, so beautiful. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. Who needs a mirror? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You've brought us another beautiful classic car. You're Mr. Classic Cars. Yeah, I mean, we're trying to, we're trying to set up a little, a little thing here, yeah. you know? We are doing well at it. Uh, thank G you so much. AC Cobra, Ford GT, and now a 512 Testarossa. Uh, what's could, next? Could be, could yeah. be worse. It's could only, be worse. It's only downhill from here, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah very true. <laughs> no, I'm this is a beauty. Yeah, thank you. Well, it's so it's a 1992 All right. uh, Ferrari, obviously 512 TR. So yeah. The TR stands for Testarossa, of course. Uh, it's the successor of the original Testarossa, the one you saw in Miami Vice yeah. and all of these epic movies. Um, so what what does it mean? It means that it's basically the ameliorated version. It's yeah. the upgraded version. It has about, you know, 40 horsepower more than the, its predecessor. So which was how much before? Before it was about 382, okay. if, I'm, if yeah, I'm correct. And now yeah. I believe it's 428. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's an upgrade in terms of the motor. They also lowered the motor a tiny little bit in order for the, gra the center of gravity of the car to be more low. Yeah. Uh, that's just a question of handling. It handles much better. Uh, the interior, you'll see later, the details inside are just sublime for a car of that time, sports car of the time. It's really- Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, this was, this was, they don't do this anymore really, apart from hypercars mid-engine V12s. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. and the Testaros, these, Oh yeah. You were describing them as shark fins before yeah, we yeah, recorded. Yeah. I see which, them. I see them as little fins like this on the side of the car. They, they, they. Yeah. Once you've said it, it's true. You can't really unsee it. But they are legendary. Yeah. It's the, the Miami Vice, Wolf of Wall Street yep. with his white one. Exactly. And this one's still got the pop-up headlights because you were explaining there is a version without. Yeah. Right. So the the version after this one that they made is the M 512M. And this one actually, yeah, like you said, it's the same car, uh, motor-wise, all the rest, it's mechanically it's the same car, except for here, the headlights are transparent and they're just flat. It's nothing, uh, okay, it's not okay. pop out or anything. But it's much rarer and therefore a little bit more expensive. Yeah, exactly. It's about double the price, uh, actually, because they only made it in less than a thousand uh, oh, examples. Wow. Oh, wow. Classic Ferrari. Rare yeah, one, double course. the price. Of course. But this one, to is, me, this is the whole mint yeah, yeah this is the whole spirit but this specific car is oh, yeah. it's unreal you'll see inside the whole thing is mint the paint outside and it's only got like 30 odd thousand kilometers exactly yeah it's got a bit more than 30 thousand 34 thousand it's already been through all the the checkups and all of that that it needs yeah uh it's passed with flying colors it's a car yeah. which has never done any accidents or anything yeah, of the yeah, sort yeah. and yeah i mean she's just been recently polished uh some of the necessary uh let's say checkups have yeah. been done and really she's in a state she's ready to race now you know yeah <laughs> she's beautiful she's beautiful the paint the leather we can even see can we see the engine of course but it this car's for sale right yeah actually yeah, yeah. nice to mention it's yeah it's no problem for sale with us yeah 
It's got a price tag of about 170,000 euros. But I mean, the thing is, you're never going to really find one in this condition. In this condition, no. Uh, I, I mean, I've, obviously, I've had to do my market research and, and things like that beforehand, before yeah. we took it on. Yeah. And really, she is stand, she's yeah, stand yeah, yeah, out yeah. To, to all the others. This is in such a beautiful state. Look at this V12 engine. Yeah, I mean, it looks outrageous. Amazing. you got the tubey exhaust, yeah. which, I mean, the exhaust on my Scuderia, yeah. which is a 2009 car, looks exactly the in, same. Well, yeah, well, no, similar. it looks older. This looks brand new. <laughs> Everything looks brand new here. Yeah, exactly. So, so cool. I love the rear end design of these. They're quite wide. Yes. You can see that, like, they kind of go inwards like yeah. that. Exactly. You got to be careful in, in the cities a little bit. Yeah. But it's nothing too shocking either, you know. For the time, yeah, it was quite wide. Yeah, yeah. Nowadays, it's fine. I mean, when you're used to your big Yeah, the cars are course, bigger now, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Very well, it's, true. It's, 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 it's a beauty, this car, and it's so much fun. Well, I can't wait, because I'm going to be able to drive it. Yeah, actually, you I can't wait. You well, will. let's look at the inside. Let's do it. I'll go, I'll go around this end. Okay. So the, the handle is like under here. You kind of pull yeah, like so that. It's a hidden handle. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's it's. Because I was pressing like that at oh, first. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> but it's <laughs> That's not That's why you were saying it was closed the whole time. Yeah, I was like, the car's closed. Whoa, look at this. This is for the, for the engine and the for the boot. Break? Yeah, so the handbrake here, and then this oh, is for the... There. It's to open the front and the back. Oh, wow. Does it have a big boot? Oh, uh, yeah, it's quite big. Is it, is it this it. one? Yeah, go for it. You gotta oh, it's it quite... Like a real man. Oh, oh no, that's the back one. Or is that the front, the front one? one? Oh, okay. Oh, it opens that way. Yes, sir. So as you can see, oh, there are others. Oh, yeah. Jack oh, it's in got in all the like oh, original toolkit. The toolkit, it's got the car cover. Yeah, it's got the car cover. It's got everything that you need. Re it's big boot actually. Yeah, it's nice. You can put a suitcase. In oh, there. daily driver. Exactly. <laughs> daily driver. It's a Ferrari, that's a daily driver. It's a Renault Espace basically. Excuse, excuse me. Would you like to go? Nope. Okay. Um, look at first of all before I get in. Look at the state of these seats. They are beautiful, and the way they used to do this. The logo kind of embossed in the leather. And this leather feels so thick. But I mean, the, the seats have no wear and tear on them. No, exactly. It's, it's been so well kept by the current owner that you... And he, he drives it because you don't want a car, you can't let it to not drive. Yeah, you want it to be driven every once exactly, in a while. Every yeah. once in a while. So that's what he does. But it's not his daily driver or anything yeah. like that. So but he'll, he will use it. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Look at this. It's quite a particular driving position. My feet are all the way over to the right. Yep. So it's the inverse of the Cobra. Where you are on the left. On the yeah. left completely. But I mean, look, so this is where my feet would normally be. Yep. And so the clutch is about where I'd normally have the accelerator. Exactly. But once again, this is something you get used to quite quickly. It's oh, yeah, a, yeah. It's something that, that's not too disturbing or whatnot, you know? And the steering wheel's a bit like... Yeah. Fords, like on a bus. <laughs> a bit, yeah, and it's quite big of a steering wheel. Or yeah. It feels quite big. But at the end of the day, it, it, it drives so well. That yeah, you... I mean, that's that's all that counts. Exactly. And already quite a few electronics. Yeah. Electric windows, yeah, electric for 1992, seats. electric seats. Uh, this isn't very modern, though. A very beautiful cassette player. Where yeah. you play cassettes. How does this work? Yeah. <laughs> And do you know what this does? I have no idea what this does. This is a window? Yeah, it kind of looks like... Oh wow, look at this window. This is a curved... Oh yeah. Super pretty. Yeah, that's also part of the, the package yeah, in yeah. the Testarossa is this back window. Which very obviously nice. you see through in the mirror here. But yeah. it's, it's very special to look through such a yeah, small curved, but curved beautifully window, yeah. curved window. Yeah. And then everything, yeah, God, it's all so yeah. perfect. The condition. And this one has all the options possible at the time. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, like you said, all the electronic components, the AC, like all of these little things that make a car comfortable nowadays. It's yeah. got them all almost. It's got this, which is yeah. the gated Ferrari manual. Five-speed oh. gearbox that really, really gives you these sensations while yeah. you're driving. Yeah, that, and listen to this. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> that's it's pleasure, so right good, there. yeah. That's pleasure. So it's what they call this like a dog leg, I think. Or anyways, it's got the the first gear down on the left. Yes, exactly. So um, it's a five-speed classic Ferrari. After that, obviously, the first gear started being on the the top yeah, left. Yeah. But this uh, this this remains, let's say. A yeah. Classic. So reverse. Do you have to push or pull? No, or? it's just put it's it just straight in there. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah. probably don't have the. Anyways, hopefully we you will need it. You have to build some strength. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do, joking. don't I? 
Um, yeah, very cool. Okay, you got your fuel is down here. Yep. Oil temperature. Exactly, and your clock. You know, which it, which I don't know if people will hear, but it makes quite a bit of noise. Yeah, it, it, cool. it tick-tocks. Yeah, it tick-tocks <laughs> away. Okay, awesome. Yeah, 35,000 kilometers, basically. Yeah, it's immaculate, really. And that is so cool. You know, these little issues that some people have had with testosterone in the past, for example, for some reason, this can sometimes, this part, so as here, can start getting a bit sticky. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, this one, this, this one, one nothing. as you can tell, like, it's everything is so immaculate, so perfect. Yeah. But no, it's awesome. Yeah, it's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to skip to out of town and I'm going to drive this. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, let's go. As you can tell, we are out of town. Oh, he's got, what have you got? Oh, you've got an uh, F1. Yeah, I was watching the F1. Nicky yeah. Lauda. Classic. Okay, so, right, we need to switch it back on, adapt. There we go. <laughs> oh, that noise. That's pleasure, right? Put my phone away. You got it. Okay. It's really nice you and spacious. Like you got it's very speed. airy as well. The, yeah. What I notice is that the windscreen comes up really high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, handbrake off, old school handbrake. So, look, you can't really tell when it's on or off. Now it's on, you got the light over there. Yep. And then you pull it off that way. There you go. The indicator's really close to the lights. Which takes some getting used to, yeah, there exactly. you are. First gear down on the left. Oh, this is cool. I feel like I'm in Miami Vice. Yeah. I feel like I'm in a movie. Oh, that gearbox, the noise of these gated shifters yeah and the ferrari one is the most legendary one yeah. isn't it yeah, it's the most sought after like you say the, the most legendary one yeah you can feel instantly that uh, there's a lot going on around the rear yeah so you got obviously a big heavy v12 it's rear wheel drive but like all these classic cars the rear is where it's all kind of happening the front is there to direct the car it's a little bit floaty but the rear is where, where, where it all happens. Yeah. And I quite like that. It's a really pleasant driving experience. Oh, that noise. Yeah, once you're high up in the revs, once you're really going at speed, it's it's a car which will, will make you feel sort of safe in it. Oh, yeah. When you're driving slow, it can yeah. feel a bit wobbly, uh, but, but but really, like once you get in up to this, once you run up to the speed, oh, it's natural, yeah. It's so comfortable. These classics, you really tell that they need to, they need to be up at speed for them to make sense. Yeah. We're gonna try it in town too. After we're going down into town now, oh, all the way up to seven thousand, it goes. Woo -hoo! The steering, obviously, it's not the power-assisted steering you have uh, you have today. Yeah, exactly. So you feel everything through the steering wheel. Yep. Brake pedal's pretty communicative once you've got the brakes warm. Yep. The clutch is wonderful. Clutch is amazing. Yeah. The highlight has to be the gearbox and the engine, obviously. Yeah. The V12. Oh. oh, it's amazing. We're gonna let these guys go a little bit. <laughs> God, it's cool. Yeah, and it's nice. It's like we say, it's comfortable. You have the AC. You have all these yeah. electronic components, which it's the right mix between yeah. kind of really old school and, and modern. Yeah, we've only got um, Erwan behind us, so we can. The, the visibility is really good as well. Yeah, you can ha you have those large so arches behind. Behind yeah. the the curved glass in the back is just enough. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, we got someone coming up behind our one, so we need to move, but up into first, second, third. Yeah. You can feel that she wants yeah. you to take your pedals are um quite far right, but they're quite close together if you want to heal the yeah. toe, which is quite nice. 
uh, it's quite yeah. low, isn't it? The Ferrari touch. I mean, yeah, it is very low. We're yeah. sitting, we're sitting very close to the ground right now. Yeah, and the front end feels low. So around those hairpins, which are really steep, sometimes it can it can touch. It, like like we've said before, it's with the motor taken down a little bit compared to its predecessor. Yep. Yeah. It's got this low center of gravity, which is very nice in terms of handling. It's more comfortable, much more comfortable than the previous version. Yeah. But you also feel that, like when you're riding, you feel this low center of gravity. You feel very, very low in general. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have to admit. Grip, it's good for everything. And the, the um, driving position you get used to. At first, I thought you were so, sort of really lying down yeah. and the wheel was in this slanted forward position mm -hmm. but actually you get used to that really quickly and yeah. it's it's nice oh definitely obviously classic cars the brakes sometimes do that little yeah. squeaking noise but nothing <laughs> to worry about perfectly no, normal a car which has just come out of the revision of its service yeah of its service exactly so you can rest assured oh look at this it's a bentley limo oh <laughs> that's insane i've never wow. seen one of those before that's true with the motor being right behind you, you still get to hear that pleasurable V12 yeah. sound. Because it's nice, it would be isn't such it? a shame if you were, you know, you couldn't hear anything. Yeah. But here it's just a perfect mix out, I would say. So yeah, 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 no, absolutely. And look, if I put the lights up, you see them pop up. Hello. Boom. <laughs> that is so cool. Yep. It's um, just a very cool car, isn't it? Yeah. It's a very cool car, at the same time, very drivable. We're yep. going to see now. In town, it drives also very yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. It's not like it's it's very communicative out of town, yeah. but then in town, it kind of all makes sense. Yeah. What's, what's what do these do? Oh, that's the oh, that's the honk. <laughs> Oops, sorry, sorry in front. <laughs> this is your locks, okay? Yeah. Oh, electric wing mirrors. Yep. Look at that. Now that's pure luxury right here. Yeah, I mean that in '92, that must have been like yeah. the thing you showed all your wow. all the boys. Yeah, electric mirrors, uh, windows. Uh, does it have a radio? Uh, no, no, it doesn't, doesn't have a radio. Doesn't have a radio. Is there radio. something yeah. hidden behind here? Yeah. Oh yeah, okay. Storage. Okay, yeah. I guess you could put an auto radio in. Yeah. But yeah, you could if you want to. This car, honestly, I for me, my music. Yeah, I mean, is you the need the the, 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 um, the V12. Yeah, exactly. That's the music. That's all the music you need. Yeah. No, it's 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 really for its time. This car has literally basically all the options possible. Yeah. And as you see it today, it, it remains very, very nice, very yeah, yeah, yeah. comfortable. It's a classic. Super usable. Already. <laughs> yeah, we're out of the traffic jam now. Yeah, we've had a couple of hill starts already. We're going to let this guy go. This this is quite sketch, this junction here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, the clutch you can get used to quite quickly. Oh, yeah. And we're going to see now going into town, but it's a great daily driver, this car. Yeah, I mean, what a baller if you're daily yeah. driving this. I mean, oh, that is, you have you have like completed life if you daily oh, drive yeah. a Testarossa. Oh, yeah. I mean, it is, yeah, so cool. In the time, someone, people did it. I mean, it's kind of the equivalent of the 812 now. I wonder with inflation how much these were new. Because you're selling this 170, you said. Yeah, 170,000 euros. Which is like basically market price, but this one's mint. Yeah, exactly. exactly. So, oh, Urs. There are some, there are some cheaper ones. But obviously they've all got 100,000 kilometers. They've got like, not everything is as immaculate as this one. Yeah. You're saying this is almost mint condition. I mean, it is It is insane. El one got in it earlier quickly and he was like, dude, it, it smells new, it yeah. looks new, everything. Really? No, no, really. The, the, the smell is really cool. Yeah. That kind of old school, old school smell. Leather, nice car smell. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, the current owner kept this car very, very well. So they were, two owners of this car so whoever buys it will be the third there's right? been three owners oh okay i see one guy who, who initially bought it yeah for his son so his son was the owner the Lucky son kid. Didn't, yeah right but the son didn't want it he didn't drive it at all no way. yeah he barely drove it he didn't oh like it gosh. so the father kept it as as let's say the second owner yeah and then it was or the first then it yeah. was sold to a guy in france Okay. Uh, and these guys sold it to the current owner. Okay, got you. Who treats it super well? Oh, we got a. Even the guys before. Look at this, this 765 LT. Very cool. Oh, that is nice. So these guys have kept it very well, always. Yeah. Um, and yeah, today it's in tip-top condition, and we're 
we're very lucky to have it in our listing. Yeah, Something as, it's beautiful. You know, we try to keep the listing with things that are number one, very special. Yeah. And number two, things Perfect. that are... Perfect, uh, exactly, yeah, nice examples. The, exactly, the top of the line, nice yeah. examples. No, you're right, I think it's the right way to go about it. Exactly. So as we get into town, I'm thinking about the rear. You yeah. have to keep in mind that the rear is, it's a bit like early 911s where the wheel arches come out quite a lot yeah. further than the front. Yeah. So you just need to keep, be wary of that. But the, the visibility is really good because we've got electric wing mirrors. I've been able to adjust them so that I know exactly <laughs> what's going on. Exactly. Behind me. That's it's it's um, obviously with these older engines, you need to um, get higher up in the rev range to really get the power to, yeah. get, to feel most of the torque, which mm. we did on the road on our way down. Now exactly. you feel that it's a little bit slower at lower revs, but super long gearing as well. Yeah, exactly. You can stay in first or second. In Around power. town, yeah. Easy. Around town you're in first or second. Yep. We could have given that guy a lift hitchhiking <laughs> if we weren't in a two-seater. But Put him on the roof. Yeah, exactly. But yeah, I mean, it's um, look at this. See, first gear you can use up to about like 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, and then you get the noise which yeah. kicks in as well. <laughs> on top of it, you get a very, very nice sound. So yeah, why not? Such like a, an experience driving a car like this. This is kind of if you you've been very successful and it's a sunny day like it is today, Sunday afternoon. You want to take a car out, this thing is oh, perfect, yeah, this isn't is it? it? This is it. We can probably hear it a little bit in this tunnel. Can't go too fast in here. Yeah. They wait for you at the exit. Yeah. Even just that. Even <laughs> just that is so cool. Absolutely. Oh, wait, wait, perfect opportunity. Yes. Put hey. the lights up, yes. Yeah, the sound deadening is really impressive. Mm -hmm. When you close the windows, you just hear the engine behind you. Yeah. But you don't hear much around. Even then, like the, it, it's like we said, huh? it's not very, it doesn't kill your ears off. You know, you're yeah. very, very comfortable with this. Yeah. No, it's true. Really nice. Yeah, and very is. spacious. So it's a design by Pinin Farina, this one. So the classic. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, legendary designer. For yeah. Um, so I think the back is almost. It, it, it's very wide, obviously, yeah, yeah. but it's also sort of, well, it's for the aero as well, aerodynamics. Yeah. But it's kind of an optical illusion that you have with the front, because the front is wide as well. Yeah. But you can't really tell because in the back it just looks like it's so wide, yeah. up, wide yeah. up. But that's yeah. a big optical illusion too. This car is wide in itself. Yeah, and especially for back in the day. Yeah. Because yeah. now cars have gotten much wider, right? Cars but when big, you see like yeah. the Cobra, which yes, is much older, but I imagine when this came out in 92, it must have been, you know, like when you see an Aventador today and you're like, God, that thing's huge, yeah, it's super yeah, yeah. wide. It must have had that effect as well. But that's where the, oh, that's the AC yeah. down there, the AC controls. Just checking. I don't know why my light keeps switching off. I look like I'm going mining with this thing on my head. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. <laughs> but um, God, this, the feel of this uh, aluminium gear shifter mm -hmm. is so, so nice. Yeah, oh, we can put the lights down here. The light stalk and the indicator stalk are very close together, aren't they? Yeah. So you get used to it. After yeah, you get used while. to it. And to be honest, it's just so pleasurable to just click and yeah, the lights, and and the the lights come, come up. up. When yeah, you need to great. tell someone like you can go, you can do like yeah, a double, yeah, yeah, exactly. double sign with Give the, them the little hello. I imagine um, it drinks quite a bit of fuel as well. Yes. V12 from back in the day. Yeah. It, Big it, fuel tank, do you know? Probably. That's a good Probably one. I think it's about... Oh, nice. GTO. 599 oh, GTO. Yeah, that's true. That's a long SF90, very nice. Uh, I think sure. the tank is at about... 70 liters? I'm not sure though, I, I, I don't want yeah. to buy it. Yeah, it's a really thick steering wheel. Yeah. And again, like, okay, you can feel the lack of power steering when you're in town, mm -hmm. but when you're out of town, all of a sudden you forget about it because yeah, the faster the speed, you go, the lighter it gets. Exactly. But it's much less noticeable than on the Ford. It's or exactly whatever, what I was maybe, say. Yeah, yeah on, on the, the AC Cobra. On the Cobra, I, I think the Cobra is the biggest example of that. Yeah. Uh, the, the power steering not being there. Yeah. For the GT40, you can feel it, but at the same time, the steering wheel is a bit different. It's a bit because the Cobra has a wooden, yeah, thin steering wheel, so you kind of have to really pull on that one. Yeah, it's the true. The GT40 is a bit thicker steering wheel, so you... they've all got a bit of play in them. So yeah, yeah. Uh, but I mean that's just also I think probably a bit emphasized of the age. Exactly. You also just get good looks from people, you know. Oh yeah. 
Do they they like you when you're in when you're in a classic like this. When you're in a, a modern Ferrari or whatever it may be, you're not quite as popular. <laughs> yeah, here you can feel this thing, but the brake pedal's light. The clutch isn't too heavy. Mm -mm. I mean, it's heavier than a modern car, of course, but yeah. it's not too heavy. I thought this was your Twizy. No, same almost, color as uh, yours. Almost. Yeah, it's a bit. And that's the same color as blue. mine. Yeah. <laughs> gonna be do some uh, Twizy testing videos in the future. Yeah, because you've got a Twizy. Twizy's a very Monaco thing. A lot oh. of people around here have Twizzies, yeah, but it's the best car it's for the here. Best. It's the best here. And we now have two Twizzies going on our uh, for a third one. <laughs> yeah, you are, aren't you? I mean, they're great for, for us, for a big family, uh, things like that. It's yeah, yeah, transport yeah. in Monaco, you don't want anything else. Plus, it's mostly about the parking, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's true. You can park anywhere, scooter anywhere. parking. Whereas in this, I wonder what this is like to maneuver. I bet you it's not the easiest to maneuver. Uh, yeah, it, to, to, to park in Monaco, maybe not the, the funnest experience, but then yeah. again, there is no car that's a fun experience to yeah, park in true. Monaco. Except for Twizy. You see here how I am just staying in, um, in first. Yeah. You just leave it in first when you're around town, basically. Oh, yeah. And the, there's so much more steering angle you know, in, in modern cars, you don't notice it as much, but in this, you, you notice that you're yeah. turning the steering wheel. It's a big steering wheel, Definitely. but a pleasant experience out of town, in town. I enjoy these videos of kind of bringing the audience along and living it firsthand with us mm -hmm. in town like this and then being able to have some fun outside. Oh, for sure. And then now we're coming back to where it all started. <laughs> what an experience, though. You, you, you'll never cease to surprise me. Oh. You always come up with something. Yeah, we've got plenty more, baby. Yeah. Uh, this, oh, we've got trucks now. Okay, how do, it, how do I go into reverse? Oh, uh, yeah, exactly. There, there we go. go. I can't see anything. We were just talking about parking. And now we're experiencing it. Can't really see much, but I think that's okay. People can get by there. I think you're good. Mate, outrageous. My pleasure. Very cool. Thank you. Always lovely to have you drive these classics. Thank you so much. I'm going to take this off to expose. Do I have this car? <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, so cool. So thank you. You guys know that uh, all the links will be down below. Instagram for Cedric for Boots and Classic Cars. Everything will be down there. But that was uh, that was my experience driving a Ferrari 512 TR. You know, there's still 61% of people who watch the channel that aren't subscribed. No way. Yeah. So then hit what the subscribe doing, button, and then we'll see you for for more adventures like, very subscribe, soon. Subscribe, comment, press there the little bell. There you go. He's you know? a YouTuber now. <laughs> Anyways, we'll see you soon, guys. See you bye guys. bye.